What's up y'all, my name is Sean. Welcome to Draw Every Day. Today we're going to be drawing the inimitable Stephanie Corneliuson as Joanna Wellick from Mr. Robot Season 1. If you're unfamiliar with Mr. Robot, it was a mind-bending drama on USA Network starring Rami Malek and Christian Slater, and it was one of the best shows on television, wrapped up beautifully, and we're going to be drawing one of my favorite scenes from the first season. But before we get to that, if you could click subscribe and then mentally manipulate the like button into clicking itself, we're going to be giving away a Huion H610 Pro graphics tablet at a thousand subs. All you need to do to be entered is to subscribe, turn on notifications, like, and leave a comment on this video, and that's going to enter you to win that, as well as all the other prizes we're giving away. We'll get into that at the end of the video, but for now, let's get right to the painting. I've got to be honest, none of my reasons for wanting to draw this uh, particular scene had to do with anything visual going on. It's honestly a really strange pose with a weird angle, awkward lighting with the egg roll shadow falling directly on her face, and the color scheme is honestly a little bit flat and sort of the color of baby poop. That said, the scene was so inspiring because it was just this dichotomy of Terrell Wellick raging in the background, smashing things, just going absolutely nuts, while in the foreground, Joanna Wellick is just sitting here eating an egg roll, sort of thinking, and you can tell that she's just got it all together and knows exactly what to do. Even though Terrell Wellick was portrayed as the main antagonist to Elliot in the show, it was always clear that Joanna Wellick was more in charge, and she was just such an amazing character, was not totally happy with how she went out ultimately on the TV show, um, but I was glad that we got the character because it was such a fun watch. As you can see, I'm doing my normal thing where I flip the canvas back and forth, back and forth forever. That's a reference, anyone get it? And at this point in the drawing, um, she's looking a little bit weird, the neck's looking a little bit scary, and hopefully I'm going to be able to work out some of these details. The hand came together pretty quickly, and the eyes also were pretty spot on. It's mostly in the mouth and jaw area that needs work, I think. I honestly don't know what possessed me to try and draw someone in a weird perspective, chewing with a shadow on their face, um, but that's what I chose to do, and it ended up being kind of an interesting challenge. You can see the background is still very loose, I plan on just blurring that out like I did with the Black Widow drawing. You're about to see me add these highlights to the eyes and see how that immediately makes the eyes pop to life. I think it's because our brains are just absolutely hardwired to look at the eyes, and because our eyes are spherical, those two dots of white immediately let you know where a light source is. So it's just an incredibly powerful tool. I like to add them early because it just sort of turbocharges the drawing up to that point and makes it feel like it's closer to done than it actually is. You saw I just did a little bit of liquify to uh, try to get the proportions of her face a little bit better, and I think it is a lot closer now. Um, I also did a little color dodge to brighten some areas of her face, like her nose where the light was specifically hitting. And from here, it's just gonna be a lot of detail work. I'll be back in a second to talk about um, camera lens blur. Okay, so, so far I did the same thing that I did on the Black Widow drawing, which is I drew the background very roughly, and now I'm applying a camera lens blur. There's a few reasons for this. One, it mimics the blur that a camera gives, as the name would imply. Um, you could use Gaussian blur. It's much quicker to render, but just doesn't give quite the realistic effect. I'll actually be using it a little bit more here at the end. Um, and if I'm being honest, I think I maybe went a little overboard with the camera lens blur. I actually tend to prefer a slightly more um, painterly look to the final product. If you go crazy with filters, sometimes it really gives a very digital look, and I think that sort of happened here, although I am mostly happy with it. You can see what I was doing was using the camera lens blur to really make her kind of pop as if the camera was using a very shallow depth of field and really only capturing her face and her hand. Here's the final picture. Let me know what you think. Uh, I think that egg roll looks delicious, but I'm not so sure about the likeness. Do you think it looks like Stephanie Corneliuson? Did you watch Mr. Robot? It's one of my favorite shows ever, and she honestly was one of my favorite parts of the show. 
Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Are there any other shows that you'd like to see me do film studies of? I think I have a couple ideas for some Westworld slash person of interest crossover fan art, but uh, I'm not so sure. Don't forget we are giving away a Huion H610 Pro graphics tablet at a thousand subs. All you have to do to be entered is to subscribe, turn on notifications, like, and leave a comment on this video. That's going to enter you to win the graphics tablet, but it's also going to enter you to win the $50 gift card to imprint that we're giving it away at 750 subs. Don't forget that I do use an app to select a winner, so liking and commenting on more videos will increase your chances of winning. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. This has been Draw Every Day. I'm Sean, and we're going to be back with another video tomorrow.